Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Boat Soda Review. In today's episode, we have something that's uniquely Southern in taste. We have cheer wine. I'm finally back from my trip, and as much as I would love to show you some footage from the trip, some pictures I took, I didn't take any. I wasn't allowed to bring my phone on the trip. I did record that one episode, that one little short there, right when I got back. It was this whole thing, but we got cheer wine. I picked up quite a few, uh, quite a few sodas. A lot of the same brand, just different flavors. So I'm probably gonna have to do a few uh, mega episodes with three of each. I've got my friends from I think Tennessee will like this. I've got Ale Eight, um, and I've also I have also got these are called Knee High, Knee Highs. I've got I've got three knee highs as well. Cheer wine. Went to the website to look at some things to talk about it. Uh, it has got quite a few uh, pieces of information that I'm not going to read all of. I'm just going to read you the first one of when it was founded. I'll leave the website as a link in the description if you want to go check it out. But uh, let's read up on uh, cheer wine. Uh, cheer wine. Drink cheer wine. <clears throat> L.D. Peeler created Cheerwine in 1917 in Salisbury, North Carolina amid a sugar shortage. His drive to start his own soft drink led him to a salesman from St. Louis who sold him a wild cherry flavor that blended well with other flavors. With the perfect taste secured, he needed a name. With a burgundy red color and cheery disposition, the name Cheerwine simply made sense. The taste sensation known as Cheerwine was born. This cherry soda from North Carolina with a bubbly effervescence and one-of-a-kind taste became an instant hit. That's its little history thing it has for 1917, and it goes up every decade after that. So that's cheer wine. Let's, uh, let's open it, you know? Let's get into drinking this. We have with us today a reoccurring set piece, the Popalock bottle and can opener, hashtag not sponsored. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up. Let's get this pour on microphone. Whoa. Okay. So you are immediately hit with a, uh, just a, a waft of something. Okay, color is, uh, uh, they called it burgundy red. It doesn't really look like that on the camera, but I can tell you in person it most certainly is just a nice, like, burgundy red. It's not bad. Sound is, of course, carbonated. It is actually really carbonated. And now the smell, which will be belated because of my allergies. Let's get a whiff of this. I want to say it's cherry, but it just doesn't smell like cherry. Well, it does, but it doesn't. It does, but it doesn't. It does, but it doesn't. Okay. You know what? That smell is definitely uniquely southern cherry. I'll just leave it at that. It smells like... Like cherry, but almost a little bit more like peppery, as if they crushed the pits in with the rest of the juice. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? Let's... Let's get right into tasting it. Let's take a take a good goodly sip, goodly sip of cheer wine. Okay, mouthfeel is um, it's all right. It's certainly carbonated, but it's not like a it's not like a pokey carbonation like some sodas have. Oh. It almost tastes like Dr. Pepper. Gonna get a lot of hate for that. But it almost tastes like Dr. Pepper, but good. I don't like Dr. Pepper, but this tastes like a good Dr. Pepper. This doesn't quite taste like cherry. No. 
No, this tastes actually the most accurate to what a real cherry tastes like. This doesn't taste like fake cherry. This tastes like real cherry. Yeah, it tastes like real cherry. It's... It's all right. It's all right. Good job, southern states and also North Carolina. Ugh. You have produced a, a decent soda. Cheer wine. Yeah. I don't have much to say about it. I it's just kind of just kind of alright. Cheer wine gets a five out of ten. Because it's not bad, but it's nothing special. A good five out of ten. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Both Soda Review. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. Although it might be a little while to get to it because I kind of took a lot home from the southern states. I think 13 bottles in total, I think it was. Um, subtracting four, that's like nine episodes I might get through before we get to that. But leave me your suggestions because I... I'm running out of running out of things to drink around here. I had to go all the way down to Florida and Georgia and uh, the Carolinas and Indiana and Illinois and I listing them out of order of which states I went to, but I had to go pretty far to find some new ones. So uh yeah. Thanks for joining me. See ya.